Hi, I'm John with HydroBuilder.com and today we're going to be talking about measuring pH. We'll be using a couple pens from Blue Lab, their regular pH pen as well as their soil pH pen and general hydroponics pH test kit. First, we'll show the basic pH pen from Blue Lab. Just turn the unit on and place into the liquid you want to measure. In a few seconds, you will have your reading. This water is at 7.7, .7, a bit too high. The soil pH pen is very similar. Just use the probe cover to make a pilot hole, then place the probe into the hole for a reading. This soil is at 4.5, a bit too low. A cheaper alternative is to use a pH test kit, like this one from General Hydroponic. Just take a sample and add a few drops of the testing solution. Shake it, then compare the color to the chart on the bottle. This sample is between 7.0 and 8.0, about 7.7. .7. Now we'll show how to adjust pH using pH up and down solution. We're starting with 7.7 .7 pH water, so to get to between a 5.5 and a 6.5, we'll need to add some pH down. This process takes some experimenting. You want to add some solution and then recheck and add more solution if necessary. Now that we've added enough pH down, our liquid is now stable at a pH of 6.4. We could now add more pH down if desired. When adjusting pH, it's important to only use one part. For example, if your pH is too high, you would only want to use pH down. If you overshoot this, you wouldn't want to use pH up to bring your pH back up. Instead, you would use something like water to raise the pH, and then, if necessary, add some more pH down from there. So now you can tell it's easy to measure and adjust pH with the proper tools. And remember, it's important to always measure and adjust pH before watering your garden for the best results. For more gardening tips and videos, visit hyperbuilder.com learn.